Court, the movie podcast where Sean and Mampy watch shit, talk shit, and most importantly, eat shit. We are the law. And guess what we saw? Immaculate. Immaculate. <laughs> Starring Sydney Sweeney and a bunch of other people. Yes. You know, there's another lady and there's another lady. Mm-hmm. But, but it's mostly Sydney Sweeney. Yeah. I mean, I she's think essentially so. in every single scene. Sceney. Sydney Sceney, they should call her. Because. Sceney Sceney. Yeah. Sceney yeah. Sceney. <laughs> That's our new name for her. Sceney Starring Sceney. in Immaculate. Directed. I think. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think his name is Michael Mohan. Michael Mohan. I think. Sounds kind of cool. Mohan. Michael Does that Mohan. sound like it would be his name? Yeah, I can. I'm like picturing myself in the theater, looking at the credits, and it says Michael Mohan. I'm pretty sure it was Michael. Mo- hey, directed by some guy who really, in my opinion, knocked it out of the park. But let me ask you this: mm. How did you feel about this movie before you I know, tell you the plot? So I, going into it, I was like, I don't know about this. I can't really tell from the mm-hmm. trailer. I was like, could be good, could be bad. Uh, but I had a great time. I enjoyed it. I was like, wow, this is a pretty fun, uh, like, yeah. thriller. It's a thriller. Yeah. I think maybe the advertisement was like, this is a horror movie, but it's more just like a thriller with some gore, it feels yeah. like. Yeah. There's some creepy moments, but it's never like, oh! it's Yeah, like, there's lots of, there's lots of jump scares. There's yeah. lots of, um... You know, people wearing weird masks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not. Other than, I mean, how many actual gore parts are there? Like two? Yeah, two or three, I think. I mean, not much. But I just thought it was fun. It reminded me of like an older movie, like an yeah. 80s thriller. Yeah. Like, ooh, creepy. Yeah. Yeah, I liked, I thought it was very well done. I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised. I'm so glad to hear that. I I felt the same way, Mampy. Yeah, I think I felt it, the same damn way. <laughs> it may have been the best pod movie of the year so far. Oh, really? I'm trying to think back on what we've watched this better year. Better than Dune Two? Oh no, I like Dune Two better. I guess so. It's second best. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's better than Dune Two. But oh dang! I'm insane. I, you know, who knows? <laughs> I may be wrong. No, I mean, hey, you're entitled to your opinion about this. Is what happens. <laughs> And honestly, even the plot mm. is a spoiler alert. Yeah, you gotta be careful. So just spoiler alert, all encompassing spoiler yep. alert. It's going with down. the plot itself, and every moment from here on will also be a spoiler. <laughs> yep, watch out. This is what happens. There's a lady. Her name is Cecilia. Cecilia, played by Sydney Sweeney, and she is going to Rome. Mm-hmm. She don't speak any Italian, but she's going there because she's decided to be a really nice nun mm-hmm. <laughs> who's going to go help out old nuns. And there's a bunch of old nuns, and they're dying. And they need some young nuns to, you know, pat their hand like this. Yes. Oh, it's okay. How you pat an old lady's hand, you go, oh, I'm sorry. Aww. You're so old, and you're dying. And that's what she wants to do. But... Things are pretty strange in this monastery. They really are. They're weird. There's people with odd masks. There is the the nail that went through one of Jesus' hands. Crazy. As, you know, one good example of a strange thing that's there. Um, there's tons of nightmares. She yes. has many, many nightmares. <laughs> many. And at some point, you don't know when the nightmares end or begin. Because mm-hmm. sometimes she'll wake up from what seems like a nightmare into another nightmare. Yeah, exactly. And you kind of go, wait, wait, which Whoa. one? Well, I don't know. Something's bad. Something. I know that yeah. for sure. <laughs> and then she finds out she's pregnant. An immaculate conception. Ooh. But that's weird. <laughs> yeah, how'd that happen? I mean, how'd that happen? Um, wait and, and then see. she gets more and more pregnant. And she starts to feel weird. Mm-hmm. Her her fingernails are coming off. <laughs> yeah, her teeth are coming out. <laughs> she puked up a tooth. She awful. Puked up Just a, awful. A she pukes tooth. up a tooth. And um, and then she tries to escape. Yeah, but it doesn't work out. <laughs> and everything is revealed. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Spoiler alert! Big spoiler. 
Well, you know, we'll talk more about that later. But everything is revealed. Everything is revealed. All. And we can discuss what we think was actually revealed. Yes. Because there's some stuff that's clearly revealed. And there's other stuff that I go, wait, mm-hmm. what did they tell us? And who is this little baby? <laughs> Hold up. Who's that baby? Who's that, who baby, that baby inside that girl? <laughs> who that baby inside, inside that, that girl? girl? Inside that girl. Inside that girl. But what's, Mampy, what's the best part of this movie? The beef lamb euro. It's really hard to pick because there were some really just like fun yeah. moments in it. I think, okay, this is the massivest spoiler of all. Yeah. But my Euro, uh, and it was heightened by seeing this on Easter, oh. but the insane moment. So Sydney, 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 <laughs> Sydney <laughs> she gets Sydney. out of the tunnel finally after dealing with this horrible burned man <laughs> yeah. that she kills with a stab through the throat with a nail, which was awesome. I was like, Very oh, wow, awesome. that nail's going in someone's throat. And Definitely. <laughs> And it all worked out. It all worked out. <laughs> thank goodness. Thank thank you, Lord. Um, and so she gets out finally, and she's just covered in blood and just, like, mm-hmm. looks fucked up. And yes. then she's just like, <gasps> and just, like, lets out this primal, insane scream. And I was like, yeah. holy shit. And they just stay on it. And she just has the oh, full yeah. birth in that, like close-up of her screaming and i was like yeah whoa and i thought that was just acted so well and it was such yeah. a good like moment at the end of the movie and mm-hmm. then they top it <laughs> because she rips the umbilical cord with her teeth oh. and then she slowly crawls away and you're like oh dang she's just gonna leave it she's yeah. not leaving the baby honey <laughs> She's gonna take care of that baby. You know what I'm saying? She <laughs> take picks care up. of your kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better take care of your kid. So she picks up a giant rock, guns back over, and the baby's like, "Mama!" And then she <laughs> smashes, <laughs> <laughs> boom, and it just goes black. And you're like, "Oh my!" God. I was sitting there like, "Fucking insane!" I was looking around at all the empty seats around me because I saw in the middle of the day on East Street. Yeah. I was like. Did y'all see that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they weren't there, so. But uh, it was just such a great ending to a movie, and that they actually committed to it. Like, that's an idea that you could see being like, "Oh, we can't do that." Yeah. But they did it. I was like, "Oh, they did dang, it!" Dude. They completely committed. <laughs> yeah. And it's long. Yeah. And brutal. Very. And she's like, such like a. Terrific screamer. Her screams yeah, are she really awful. <laughs> yeah, like, and like yeah. she seems legitimately in horrible pain. Mm-hmm. And that's my favorite part too. Spoiler oh, alert. She was channeling all of like the the experience of Madame Webb and yes, like <laughs> how people treat her in the media. <laughs> <laughs> and um, while while we're here, that's my favorite part. I think mm. it's awesome. Yeah. I think. Like it's it's one of the things I've talked to about a, with a few people is that it like they really stick the landing. Yeah, absolutely. Like there's lots of fun stuff throughout, lots of you know creepy stuff and scary stuff and creepy stuff, <laughs> and um and then they're like, well, let's go ahead and do it. Just fuck yeah, commit. Let's do this ending that's really fucked up. I love. But it. <laughs> I'll ask you this, Mampy. Ooh, how fucked up is it? Because uh huh, there are the what the baby is is some point of contention. Yes, yeah, true. It's now my my feeling is that it is in fact the reborn Christ. Yeah, and that she crushes the reborn Christ <laughs> with a rock. Yeah, <laughs> but mm. there is some possibility because of you know she sees um, a Bible verse. Behind yes. a painting, um, who written by the the woman who dies at the beginning. Yes, and it says like, oh, you know, sometimes Satan pretends to be an angel or whatever. So maybe it's some kind of antichrist situation. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I got that vibe a little bit from like the creepy sounds it was making. Yes, but I don't know what sounds babies make. It almost sound like an animal. Like, yes. Eh, eh, eh. I was like, uh, that doesn't sound And good. also, <laughs> like, you see it far off, out of focus as she's going on her uh, trip to grab mm. a rock. 
And it looks very red and weird. Yeah. But it's <laughs> also knows? a just birthed baby. So maybe, yeah. you know, it was probably covered in blood. And, you know, that's what, you know, maybe babies look like. Maybe. I don't know. I also love the sound design of that scene. Like, yeah. the drop is so brutal. It's just like, <laughs> like, it just like hits the ground. You're like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, to be fair, if I got, I've never been a woman, but if I got impregnated by crazy church people. Yeah. I would probably do the same thing. It's like, fuck yeah. this. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. No way, dude. And also, I mean, n- n- I would say textually, mm-hmm. there's no answer. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> I don't think they tell us really for sure if this is some weird antichrist or if yeah. this is the actual son of God reborn or if who it's knows? just like, well, they've, you know, they got some blood off of a. Uh, nail from thousands of years ago so who knows whose blood they got (laughs) true yeah how many nails are there hanging around on golgotha yeah from you know people who've been crucified true who knows every every few hours that's why so who knows but just the simple idea the possibility that they smashed jesus with a rock is Pretty fucking insane. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely wild. I mean, how did I see this at a movie theater? Yeah, I some with other people. I know. Yeah, that's what it really felt like. That that's why, like looking around, I was literally like, "Whoa, did we all just experience?" That? Yeah, because <laughs> that was because you know what's about to happen. You're like, "Yeah, okay, either she's gonna get like shot in the head or something before she can do it, or like sure. I, there were so many moments where I was like, "Oh no, she's gonna get dragged back in, and the bad yeah. guys are gonna win." And I was honestly so glad that that didn't happen. Yeah. It's like, that's fine sometimes, but in this sure. movie especially, you're like, come on, let her, just let her get a, like, I love seeing her kill all the, like, the the Reverend Mother and the yes. priest guy. I was like, hell yeah, smash, get it. Smash. Yeah, that was awesome. It was really nice. I loved it. Cause it Smashed the nose. Yeah, especially after she had cut the tongue off that one lady. Like, <gasps> you're like, oh, get her, get her yeah, back. She sucks. Yeah, she's horrible. They all suck. But it's. I think that's another interesting thing about it is that they think they're doing the right thing. They're like, yeah. well, we're trying to bring back Jesus. Yeah. That, uh, what's and so if we have to that? cut a lady's tongue off to bring about the end of the world slash, like, you know, everyone going to heaven, <laughs> yeah. you know, that, then we have to do it. Which is so wild. It's a good commentary on some things that may be happening now. It's like, yeah. oh, wow, you're really doing this, huh? Yeah, is it truly, is every, is it okay to kill people because of your religion? Doesn't really seem like it, but... <laughs> some are wondering. Yeah, some are. People are talking, and they're saying, it's probably fine, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> uh, no. That's the main thing we learned from this movie is, yeah, yeah. go ahead. Psh, who cares? <laughs> oh, okay, I mean, other things I loved. It also, I mean, this could be a pro-abortion stance, you know. If you were I mean, forced truly, to have a knows? child, that probably. Not, yeah, it's like, well, because I, I did have a really dark thought. I was like, oh god, she gonna do something with that nail? I was like, oh boy. I thought the same. Yeah, this is gonna get intense. But I liked how it went better. I was like, oh, yes, that, <laughs> that, that, that yeah. might have been. I Too mean, much. I feel like they would have all been killed. Yeah, if they did that. <laughs> Like, they would have been dragged out of their homes and smashed with rocks. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> but the whole time I was like, oh, shit, this is about to be awesome. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I, I haven't looked it up. I bet there is some controversy and outrage from some people, but... I hope so. Yeah, that's good art. I go. mean... I'm surprised. It's also, like, played against the the many, like, demon child movies we've yes, seen. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's like... It's like Oh, you know, the, the devil's bad, of course, but, like, the stuff that people do in the name of religion is, has to be about as bad. Yeah, just about, exactly. I really like, like, did you ever see that movie Frailty? Yes. Where, like, they're like, the God's oh, telling yeah. us to kill all these people. Like, it's so dark and demented, and you're like, yeah. man, that is a side of it that's very real. Or you're sure. Like, I don't like yeah. this. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's in evidence every day. Every day you look at the news for the past three or four, mm-hmm. five, six thousand years. 
You know, every time you pull up your newspaper, you go, oh, man, they're killing for religion again. Oh, classic. The oh, boy. never die. Why don't, why don't they get over it? Yeah, why don't they just stop? <laughs> just, there's so much space. <laughs> yeah. Just share it all. Yeah, just bit, go somewhere else. Sake. Isn't that so wild that you can just literally not do it? Like, just stop bothering the people. Yeah. <laughs> just get over it. It's so, it's a wild if people could just get over it. Yeah, but they don't like to. No, they like to uh, inject a bioengineered Jesus into <laughs> yeah. a woman's body somehow. <laughs> That's another thing I liked about it is, like, it's, I don't know if it's, like, low art or high trash or mm. some combination of the two. <laughs> yeah. But it's, like, really nice that this is, like, a full-on, like... Uh, old school feeling, yes. like trashy movie. Absolutely, like the you know, there's an evil scientist who's also a priest. <laughs> he gets burned. Yes, if, <laughs> he gets burned alive, and I he's like, it. ah, it's and like great. they they kind of make it a little classier because it's sort of lit like a regular movie. Yeah, <laughs> but um, in the end, it's just like, oh yeah, there's there's like people impregnating her. And there's weird women wearing red masks. Yeah. And all these old women are in on it, or maybe they're not. Or at some point, they were also impregnated with what they hoped would become... So freaky. ...a Jesus. It's really cool. I loved the the unhinged uh, Sister Isabel, who uh, (laughs) was, like, really mean the whole time. And then you, you see that she just is really jealous that... She couldn't have the baby and tries to drown her, which is just wild. It's really good. It's like, damn. Oh, yeah. So I mean, they do be tripping. We know that to be true. They do. They be tripping and they be falling, or you could say jumping, off of buildings. Because I also oh. like that scene. It's so fun when, like, ass. the main action is in the background. Yeah. Like, I loved, like, Sydney Sweeney's just walking and then out of focus, there's a nun on the roof and just. <laughs> And then they do not shy away from the gore there. I was like, no. oh my god. The reveal is fucked up. <laughs> I was like, she, no. You see your face down in, in in many movies. Yeah. Like a slightly more tame movie. They would just be like, well, she's, you know, she obviously <laughs> fell. And there's tons of blood and you would be icked out by it. Yeah, of course. But then they roll her over and she's, <laughs> her face is smashed oh, to bits. It's brutal. <laughs> so I, I couldn't believe it, honestly. It's great. I was like, oh, dang. I do want to apologize to all the people I saw this movie with the three uh-huh. times I saw it. Because I've, like, <laughs> definitely cackled a lot through the movie. <laughs> That's great. Because it's so, like, there's so many things that are, like, so sinister. It's like, oh. And, like, <laughs> Like, just, there's so much shit like that. Mm-hmm. And especially the ending is like the way they draw it out for so long. You're oh, like, oh my yeah. god, what's gonna happen? And I, then she's got the rock, and she's walking with the rock, and you're like, oh fuck. Yeah, that, and I'm just going. <laughs> that end scene is like, I hate that the word iconic is so dumb now, but like, yeah. it really did feel like, oh my god, this is like a, like this is a scene that you like remember. For yeah. a long time, like, oh my god, that scene was... It's like the end of The Mist or something, where you're just like, what yeah. the fuck? Like, oh, it just, yeah. I couldn't even believe it. I was like, whoa. They yeah. went wild. The balls. And this they is... balls. I hate to take it back to last week, but this take is a back. good example of, like, so minimally doing something incredible... Yeah, as opposed to something going over the top, absurd, where yeah. it's just like, ugh, I've already just like don't care about that. But like this, I'm like, dang, this was beautifully done and so minimally, and I I loved it. Yes, I don't know. I think I just I just appreciate this type of thing. But I liked both of the movies. Yeah, I mean, I liked Immaculate a lot more than Late Night yeah. with the Devil, but it does show like the kind of the value, the great value in kind of simple things. Yeah, absolutely. Like the fact that they, they just, I don't know where the fuck it was, probably <laughs> somewhere in Italy, but the fact that they went to some place mm-hmm. that looks like a place. Yeah. And there's these huge ceilings and everything is very beautiful. And there's these old doors and they've <laughs> got like old kind of decaying 
art on the walls. Yes. And it's just got such a feel to it. Like the the moment you get in there, like the the whole ambiance of the weirdness is there. You're like, wow, this is an old fucking place. Yeah, it really helps. And it helps so much. Like it really sells a lot of the stuff because you go into these weird rooms and there's like big towers and there's so many <laughs> <Yeah>. candles. <laughs> And there's all just cool, there's like beautiful staircases, just tons of cool shit. Exactly. And, I mean, that sells most of the movie up until the end, because that's just where they spend their time. Exactly, yeah, it's, yeah. And everything looks like, everything looks cool. Yeah, and it makes, it really helps the, like, feeling of, like, trappedness and, like, impending yeah. doom. It's like this, like, big building, especially after seeing the beginning where someone, yes. you know, tries to escape and gets buried which was a crazy that yeah. was a crazy way to start it with like the credits rolling and you can still hear her screaming i was like that's so crazy good. <laughs> that's crazy i was definitely cackling during that part. yeah it's like damn dude. she's just screaming over and over and over again <laughs> it's and, it's horrifying. Just, and it's just the credits is really evil shit <laughs> i did imagine if she started doing the kill bill volume two <laughs> like punching the the car <laughs> and she breaks <laughs> that that would be amazing <laughs> okay, other stuff I loved. <laughs> the scene where they ever dressed up like Mary, kind yes. of like like uh, uh, Renaissance paintings of awesome. Mary with the beautiful blue robe and like yeah. her hair up and little Mickey Mouse things <laughs> and like all kind of dolled up. It's yeah. really great. All while crying was like, awesome. oh. I was like, this is great. It's really good. And it's another thing where they, like, pull out, and she's in just this massive, beautiful cathedral. Yeah. <laughs> and it feels so right. Like, like, there's whoa. no... there's They don't have to try really hard to make it look like a thing. It just is a thing. They went to a place that's a place. And, man, it, it looks so good. It looks, it's just such, like, simple art direction. Just like, hey, she just looks exactly like a Renaissance <laughs> exactly. painting of Mary. That's what she looks like. That's cool. And she's in this big, beautiful building. It's really good and shit. Ju- yeah, and, like, really great shots. Like, it was just shot. It's fun. Like, it's like you were saying, like, high trash or low art. Like, yeah. you can really make something great. Even if idea is kind of wacky or you're getting a little out there, you can, like, if you just present it in a beautiful way, it's like, oh, yeah. that that's really a huge part of the battle. <laughs> like, yes. Just, present it well and like there was so much craft i thought in this and it was just pretty and it yeah it really reminded me of like an older like a you know what is the movie the devils or something yes. like we're back in the monastery with these yeah unhinged costumes nuns. are very cool yeah very well done even the simple stuff like the sleep costume mm-hmm. is like cool and also very useful because like she's often walking around at night with a candle so it's like a big white thing to catch the yes. light. And it's just lots of really cool stuff like that. That one scene where she's like walking around with the candle and like so she sees someone else come in, like that, it was so like creepily shot. And like, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is really nice. Like, yeah, it just feels like, ah, I'm scared for her. Yeah. I like, I thought they did so good with it. And oh my gosh, you kind of brought it up, but that dream sequence. They do it in the trailer when, you know, they're trying to make it seem like a horror movie and yeah. she gets grabbed or whatever. Yes. Um, but then she wakes up and then she just sees, like, the light visage of, like, this old woman in Ooh. white just staring at her. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> and that lady then coming back later with the scissors, that yes. scared the... That actually got me. I was like, oh, that my God. And she just <laughs> snips her hair. Yeah. She's like, bless her. You are blessed. Yes. <laughs> so Benedetta. Cool. Yeah, Benedetta. <laughs> um, I really like that part. I really? also felt like the... I didn't even really notice it the first time, but, like, when she's talking to the priest in mm-hmm. confession, like, he's slowly moving away. Yeah. But I didn't realize that he's slowly moving away from the very first moment. Yeah, that is interesting. Like, every time they cut to him, he's, like, a little further away. And then they make it really obvious, obvious like, they, they have this long pullback that was where wild. you're seeing him disappear, and the and it appears like the... The it's getting into this long hallway, and they do just enough to where like she gets grabbed from behind and she's in this other room and it's really fun. Yeah, it's like oh my god, yeah, <laughs> very interesting. And in general, I just liked how nonstop it was. Yeah, absolutely. Like 
there's there's one part that's I mean it's probably almost near the end where they show like second trimester. Yeah. And you realize like how much time has passed. And you're like, "Oh shit. This is she's been there so long. She's been suffering for so long. This yeah, is awful." Yeah. This is horror. Um but just the fact that like it's really packed with shit. There's yeah. just so much stuff happening in every scene. There's just something weird or gross or mm-hmm. fantastic or some combination of the three in every scene. Yeah, it's really, really good. And well it's done. just like a really smart way to do, you know, a horror movie or a thriller or whatever. Like, yeah. there's, it's a really, I mean, it feels like, um, I don't know. I don't know what it feels <laughs> like. If it, it just feels like they went, we need to keep these people interested. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there's no better way, you know. Like Roger Corman might put like a tit in every, <laughs> you know, every three minutes or so. Yeah. And you'd be like, oh, cool! I love this movie. There's a, there's so many tits. They happen every few minutes. But yeah. it's a very similar formula in this. Mm-hmm. Not as many tits, but like no. just something weird. Or scary happening so often, and yeah. sometimes like with the her in um, her in confession into the scary thing into mm. another scary thing where they just like roll on top of each other. Yes, I really it's like that. Really solid. And like going from something that was not real, yes, uh, very fantastical, and then to something that was like, well, was that real? But it and it was. You kind of. Yeah, it's like very interesting. Kind of. I, yeah, it's like oh, because that lady is watching her in the yes. night, which is creepy. The woman is watching her, <laughs> which is but also lot. it's like okay, the she's in the confession and it is sort of dreamlike. Yeah, and then she gets grabbed and it's dreamlike, and then she's awake and it's still dreamlike. Yeah, <laughs> like you're no, there's no way out in this place. Exactly, I love that. Creepy it's... things are happening no matter whether you're in your dream world. Or in your awake world of your dream world, or whether you're just awake. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, and, I, and when she's awake, she even ha- like has the moments where she'll like she always she always gets into the bad stuff because she overhears something. Yes, and she's like, "What's that?" And then she sees some horrible thing: yeah. a bird slams into the window, oh. or she sees some woman face. If a woman's ever face down on the ground muttering. You should just leave her alone, because she's going to turn and look at you with a red mask over her face, and you're going to be like, what the fuck? Even that thing <laughs> is just so simple and cool. Yeah, it's awesome. And um, I, it's just, like, super duper simple. It yeah. is just a piece of red fabric that stretches over people's faces. Love it. And you see their nose, and it also gives them weird, like, kind of cavernous eye yeah. sockets. <laughs> and it's just very creepy. Very cool. But, like, when you... The first time you see it, and every other time you see it, like, there's, like, times when she, like, looks up in a window, and she sees, like, three of them just standing mm, yeah. with their masks. <laughs> just like, or just, like, in in the... In amongst the laundry... It's creepy. And I love that they don't ever explain why they look like. Like, there's no, no. they're just, that's just what they're, they're doing. <laughs> hey, that's just part of the weird cult shit that they do there. Fascinating. I also love that uh, when she tucks in that lady, and then she the lady pulls up the blanket and her feet are revealed, and you yeah. see, like, the burn marks of the... Uh, the branding of the cross. Yeah. And then that especially is nice because later that lady, you think she's kind of on her, on Sydney Sweeney's side, the old lady. Yeah. And Sydney Sweeney's like, we've got to get out of here. And she's like, you will never leave. <laughs> I was like, oh God, <laughs> this lady's wa-. And her face like gets like really cre- sinister. I was like, yeah. oh God. Yeah. No. <laughs> she also sort of has, I don't, she might not, she might have teeth, but she does a good job of pretending she doesn't <laughs> have teeth. Yeah. She's just kind of like, you will never leave me alive. Yeah, I thought so we good. were going to get a drag me to hell moment with oh, the yeah. wah, 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 gum in her mouth. <laughs> um, oh, if she, yeah, if she <sighs> char- charred on her nose, oh, that'd be pretty great. Wow, amazing. But I love it. And then, of course, the scene where Sydney Sweeney's getting branded. Oh, that was rough. rough. I was like, no. That's when so I rough. thought, I was like, oh, she's fucked. It's over. Like, she's yeah. not getting out of here. <laughs> Yes, the fact that like there's there's bo- a little bit before that, like mm-hmm. they they bring her through this weird mad doctor's 
you know, lab. Mm. And, and there's, like, tons of little jars with weird <laughs> fucked up fetuses. Yeah. Just, like, weird mutated fetuses that they've kept. Yes. Just for, Ooh. I don't know. Just, just to, to see. <laughs> just to take a look and go, hey, <laughs> if at first you don't succeed... Try, try again. Keep try. D- yeah, didn't the priest say something about that? Like, God wanted me to fail, just so. <laughs> yeah, it's sure. like The nonsense that we come up with to justify or <laughs> legitimize things. I mean, I get it. Hey. I I do the same thing. You gotta do it. I keep going and doing things. It is crazy that she saw a bunch of bunch of uh, she saw a bunch of fucked up fetuses, and then they fucked up her f- fetuses. You know, that's not, yeah. They, it's branded them. That was crazy. <laughs> they did fuck up her fetuses. <laughs> fetuses don't fail me now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love um, it. I, this is like a halfway in between positive and negative. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I will say there were times I wished it was just like slightly more trashy in the lighting. Mm. Now, it's like, I think they go for, re- they go for realism yeah. a lot. Yeah. Occasionally not, but a lot. But sometimes I was like, if there was just like a little more blue in this night scene. Yeah. Where it was just like, you know, they just like shone some some fake moonlight on her face. <laughs> a little something. Sometimes I kind of wish that would happen. Yeah, but I could see that. How could I? how could I hate on a movie I love so much? I know. It really, I don't know. Especially in an era of like kind of... No, not, I don't know, at least for me, just like, uh, uh, mm. that type of feeling movie. Yes. It was nice to just see any craft. And yes. <laughs> like, it just was, I thought it was nice. And I thought it was fun and new and fresh. Because yeah. I was, I, we talked about it last time, like, I'm so over, like, demon possession and all that <sighs> stuff. But this was a nice little, like, oh, no, this is just crazy people. And there's yeah. always crazy people. <laughs> yeah. They're crazy. I mean, Jesus might be real. You never know in this world. You never know. And also, he he may be have may he may have been hit by a rock. He may, he may have been. I mean, it's, there's a there's a non zero <laughs> chance that he was crushed by a rock. Yeah, he he absolutely was crushed by a rock. Wow. Which I don't know. I I I think it was maybe for the best. I I I, I hate to say it, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that would have been a good life. Because imagine, even if that baby grew up and, like, was taken in by this crazy church, like... Yeah. Couldn't be good to have all these crazy people feeding in that you're some new messiah or whatever. No. Just because... It was as we we saw in Dune 2. It just never works out. It's not a good idea. It's tough. Yeah. (laughs) When you're trying to build yourself your own messiah. Don't do it. It doesn't always work. It really doesn't. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start talking shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't have a lot. I love it. But I do have one. Ooh, Big one. tell me about it. <gasps> it's not that bad, but I, I kind of annoyed. I was kind of annoyed by it. <laughs> my, my low main low man, the worst part of this movie, in my mm-hmm. opinion. Sydney's wandering around, as she does, in her nightshirt. Yeah. And her water breaks. And then she says, God damn it. Yeah, it's a little on the nose. <sighs> It's like, all right. It's just a. Li- it was just a little on the nose, and also <laughs> yeah. it was. I felt like it felt sort of jokey in a way that most of it doesn't feel jokey. Yeah, it's like so. Oh. It just seemed like it was kind of out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. We're like, you know, I mean, there's some funny stuff for me in kind of an evil way. Yeah, <laughs> where they're like they're being they're being so bad, mm-hmm. where it's like funny for me. But, like, that, it just felt like, eh, you know, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like almost maybe her just, like, making eye contact with a crucifix or something would have made, and she's, like, angry, just like. Yes. Or she just says, like, screw you or something. I, yeah. Maybe that could have been better. Because it's just, it's just so, like, and she just killed a woman. Like, it's a little out of character. Like, I yes. feel like she's still, I don't know if by the end she still believes in all the stuff, but. Uh, it seems maybe, maybe, but it just because she seemed so into it the whole movie until yes, I don't know. It was a little odd, mm-hmm. uh, and it it did it kind of felt in the vein. I don't think as bad, but in the first nun movie where they're like, 
holy shit. And the guy's like, oh. the holiest. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. That's, I don't think a priest would. <laughs> I forgot all about that. Yeah. It's like, I think it's Immaculate's line is better than that, but it's yes. like, it's in a similar, like. Uh, it's not as like painful. Like that line's just awful. Yeah. That line's And this bad. is like, <laughs> eh. like it's like a eh moment in a in the midst of like, especially when it was like getting like, oh yeah, and then you're like, eh. yeah, especially because yeah. like she has just smashed a woman's face <laughs> and, yeah. with a like big heavy crucifix, <laughs> yeah, and then she's gonna go burn a priest alive. No, she's gonna first she's gotta choke uh, a I don't know what he is. He's not a pope. He's some kind uh, of priest, cardinal, father cardinal. I don't some know. Some kind of cardinal. Called. He's going to choke a cardinal with uh, beads. With the what is that called? The rosary. rosary? She chokes yeah. the cardinal with a rosary. <laughs> Crazy. Good stuff. It was wild. I I was so happy. I thought she was even going to kill the doctor when he busted her. I thought she was going <laughs> to yeah. chase him down, <laughs> kill him. But I mean, maybe next time. Next for time, immaculate yeah. too. <laughs> she goes back and kills everybody that would be amazing yeah i mean yeah I, I would definitely file a police report after all that i'd be like yeah i got kidnapped and they yeah put a baby inside of me it was not great no not good at all that's also man i, I hate to talk about another good part <laughs> um but they <laughs> when when she's in I don't know. She's at the airport or something. Yeah. And there's some dudes in... What is that? What is that office even called? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, what is, what is <laughs> it called office. when you... When the cops are mad at you at the airport? Uh, hey, they're mad know. at her at the airport. Yeah. <laughs> they're not really mad. But um, they're like, Oh, you want to go to the... Uh, you can go to... And like one of the... At one of one point in Italian, one of the guys is like, what a waste. Yeah. It's like, dang, dude. <laughs> They're just like, oh, she's so fucking hot. Don't be a nun. Don't Please. be a nun. You're hot. Yeah, I had someone reach out and they were like, how was it? I was like, oh, you know, I was surprised. I liked it. All of a sudden they go, yeah, but <laughs> you get to see the her boobs. I was like, oh, my oh. goodness. <laughs> but a little bit. A through, little. Through some wet clothes, which, you know, depending on what you're into, that might yeah. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't rock hard, but I was into the movie, and that's more of what I'm into when I'm in a public place. Yeah, is being just kind of into the into the movie. Yeah, you didn't you didn't want to be rock hard. No, no, okay. there wasn't that many people in there, but it, it just never. I, I don't feel comfortable in public uh, with an erection, but maybe some people would. There's definitely some people who do. <laughs> yeah, they love There's it. There's some people who like it. <laughs> and they think other people would like to experience it. And yeah. They're pretty much always wrong. I would say I would say, 99.9% of the time. I would guess a lot of people... <laughs> um, is Does New York have the largest population of people oh. who have erections in public? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. You never know. We have we have the I think we have the largest population of people just randomly punching people. Oh uh, yeah. So that's pretty exciting. That's nice. Right now, yeah. <laughs> um maybe like Tokyo or something? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know I feel how like it works. They're there. very kinky in Tokyo. Yeah, they're so repressed that they're like they're getting you know, they're wild underneath. Yeah. The, the buttoned up. <laughs> you see a shirt that says the word tits on it, and they're like, oh, boy. Oh. I love the word tits. Yeah. Gets me so horny. <laughs> what's I the worst? Mampy, what's the worst part of this movie? The worst part? It's tough, because I gener generally had a great time with yeah, it. Yeah, me too. I think it, the beginning... I wasn't totally sold on Sydney Sweeney again. I just really struggle with her sometimes. Yes. I am so happy for her and so proud that she's doing all the stuff and getting all the sure. stuff. That's awesome. But just sometimes she's still just a little like, what? Yes. What? And I get it because she is supposed to be confused, but 
It was a little like, I'm, I'm really trying to get into it. And then yeah. by the end, I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. You're yeah. killing this. Um, but so I still struggle with that. And there's one part, It's I don't even know if I should bring it up, because I did like the line and I laughed at it, but mm-hmm. we're, they're like... Oh, you're fine. The baby's fine. And she's like, what about me? <laughs> I just got drunk. <laughs> and I was like, this is really funny. But then she's like, I threw up a tooth. And it, it just was kind of like, it felt a little goofy. And I was like, this is, I don't know. But it's a little, it's, I mean, she did, in fact, throw up a tooth. She did. But, it's, <laughs> but to say, like, I threw up a tooth. I is, threw up a tooth. <laughs> I threw up a tooth. It's kind of like the audience responding, like, I mean, aren't they going to check on her? She threw up a tooth. Yeah, but like they do it in the like she's the audience member yes. in the movie. So that part, but I mean, for that to be the only thing I can even think of that I didn't mm-hmm. like is pretty good because I, I just thought it was great that the sound design was great, the music I love the music. I was like, this is fun and it just feels so much its own thing. I love that. Um, so, sorry, I'm glad you made me think of this. Uh oh, because I. After yeah, I think I agree. After a certain point, mm-hmm. I began to like her in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and it made I, I don't know who I was talking to. It doesn't matter who I was talking to, <laughs> but it made me think of Keanu Reeves. Oh, okay, gotcha. Who I feel like is perfect for some roles. Yeah, absolutely. Like I think he's great in the Matrix movies because mm-hmm. his thing is to either be confused or to be sort of a cipher. Yeah, <laughs> not well. Not the character side, yeah. <laughs> you know, a kind of inscrutable person. Yes. And similarly in like Speed, where he's just like, he's just like a dude bro. Yeah. He's like, I'm here to save you. <laughs> yeah, he is and, that. And in John Wick as well, where he's just like, I need guns. <laughs> and that's like, I think that's perfect for him. And it made me think like, maybe like, maybe the sort of confused ingenue who mm. is very scared is like the perfect thing for Sydney's I Sweeney's so. per, like particular thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Whatever her weird thing is that made me think that like maybe she's not human. <laughs> maybe maybe it's perfect for this kind of thing where she's just like I don't understand what anybody's saying yeah. because they don't speak the language. <laughs> exactly. And also on top of that everything that happens is fucked up and weird. <laughs> so I'm just like Wait, what? She really put herself in a bad situation. Holy shit. Like, man, you got to know what's going on. Because, like, even her friend is not telling her, like, the nice lady who's, like, befriending her, like, isn't telling her what anyone's saying. Like, they're like, we think you're very special. And then she's like, they said you're nice. Like, she's not, like, <laughs> telling them anything. Which, I liked her little freak out. And she's like, what the fuck? is going on in this place you guys are fucking crazy and then they like take yeah. her away which anytime someone's pointing out things about a place and people take them away physically that's like a big sign of like oh this is like bad yeah this is not good and i thought she was gonna come back just without a tongue but no she just they just she's just straight up dead without a tongue it's nice like, that they i thought that was fun because they were like well we gotta torture her first yeah I mean, the the cutting out the tongue is because she talked. Yeah. Uh, but she has to die, obviously. Yeah, she has to. She Crazy. can't go around t- talking anymore. Even though she doesn't have a tongue, she could write something down. Yeah, yeah. Let's kill her. Let's kill her. That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. In general, I just I just had such a good time. Yeah, I, I was very pleasantly surprised. And... I, too, was very surprised. Mm -hmm. Because I saw the trailer and I was like, well, okay, I don't know. Mm -hmm. This just looks like a movie. Yeah. I've also, and this is going to sound really crazy, I've heard that the first Omen is also good. Yeah, that trailer, where they, the first one where they did all the reverse stuff, Yeah, I was like, this looks kind of cool. Yeah. And for me to be excited about a demon movie again, it takes a lot. You're a demon movie hater. (laughs) Yeah, I'm like, ugh, enough. With the Which brings demons. us <laughs> to a segment we like to call Panda Express Presents Express Yourself About the Movies You Watch This Week. Mampy, play that theme song, please. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I 
was trying to do like a church version, but it sounded like Jingle Bell or uh, Deck the Halls. Yeah. Okay, let me try it. Ding 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 ding. It's time for the Panda Express because we have some things to express about the movies we watch this. Week. Da, da, da. They also in the movie they <laughs> sang Carol the Bells. Was that yeah. a thing? Is that a thing that I don't? I have no idea. I guess so. I don't. I. I mean, it's a song I like, but I was very surprised. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Follow up. Is this a Christmas oh, no. movie? Yeah. <laughs> this is. Is this the new best Christmas movie? I don't. I know. mean, I would watch this every year on Christmas. <laughs> it is a great Easter movie. It was truly. I was like. Wow. Yeah. Everyone's in their Sunday best out there celebrating something I don't believe in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm in here and she is crushing the, yeah, <laughs> the new Jesus with the rock. <laughs> I'll never forget that feeling. Uh, I hope you never do. <laughs> I never will. But what we also can't forget are the movies we watched. What did oh, you watch this week? You know what? I watched a bunch of stuff this week. Oh, dang. I'll okay. only talk about two of them, I think. Okay. Cool, cool. Yesterday was Easter, mm-hmm. and I watched The Last Temptation of Christ, Ooh, directed classic. by Martin Scorsese. Mm. And I don't know if you've seen this film. Yes. I just think it's really good. It's great. Very now, I'd, I truly don't know if it's because I grew up in the church. Hmm. That it sort of has some meaning to me. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, whatever. I can't control that. <laughs> um, but I th- I think it's really interesting and very powerful. Yeah. The music's really good. All the acting's great. Oh, man. It, it In some uh. way, like, <laughs> even though it is sort of, like, maybe 60% biblical mm. big, and 40% all, all new bullshit that they made up. <laughs> yeah. It, a lot of times it feels like a kind of the most accurate representation of what I got it, it, from yeah. like reading the Bible as a kid, where it's like, oh yeah, Jesus is, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's trying to help people and trying to be good, but he's also <laughs> a human. Yeah. It's not always that easy to be God. It really isn't. Especially if you're a human. Come on, I don't on, how y'all. hard it is to be God if you're a, a human. I mean, God. You're just like. <laughs> that would suck. Uh, yeah, Willem Dafoe did a great job of like when he got frustrated. I loved it. Oh, I was yeah. like, he's so good at this. Mm-hmm. He, I, he, I, I'm sorry. I just have to say it right now. Say it. All time favorite. I gotta say, that's my favorite actor. Really? All time. I love Will. There's never a time he shows up where I'm like, oh man. I'm always like, yes, yeah. he's here. He's great. <laughs> I love him. Have you seen Light Sleeper? No. You should see Light Sleeper. Ooh, it's a Paul Light Schrader Sleeper. movie. I can't okay. remember if it's good, but I remember <laughs> liking it. Yeah. <laughs> so that doesn't, who knows what that means. But I'm, I'm like, is Willem Dafoe in it? And you're like, no. No. <laughs> no, no one's in it. <laughs> no, there's no one in the movie. It's just a black screen for uh, 45 minutes. <laughs> no music. Yeah, and you keep hearing a guy wake up, but you don't see him. Oh, uh-huh. oh man, I'm such a light sleeper. <sighs> <laughs> oh man, it sucks to be a light sleeper. sleeper. Yeah, big title. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't enough titular lines in movies. I love tits. This sure was the last temptation of Christ. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah, you've always got to knowingly look at the camera too. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> Did you watch anything it. this week? Uh, yes, yeah, so I watched <sighs> Sad Okay, here here I got to set up the story. Okay. I thought I got tickets for Monkey Man and I was like, "Whoa, it's out early." That sounds great. Uh, I'm going on the train. I was like looking at the ticket and I was like, "Oh, that's for April 4th, which <laughs> is not today." Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not even the day that we're recording this. Uh, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go see what else is playing there because I'm already halfway to Manhattan. So I'm yeah. not just going to go back. Uh, keep in mind, I have to walk like 15 minutes to the 
subway so it's like it's like oh, i'm already committed to this trip yeah that's a big commitment <laughs> yeah um so i was like well the o- literally only thing playing is ghostbusters a frozen empire oh no I almost called it the big freeze i thought that's what it was called that's, that's a that's better ghost. title yeah, yeah for what should be a comedy movie <laughs> yeah i mean frozen empire doesn't sound like a comedy no it really doesn't and it wasn't it was oh. <laughs> okay. kind of a joyless experience not very funny and just, I just did not like that movie at all. So there you go. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> yeah. I never saw, I didn't see the other one they made with the kids, but I just had no interest. Not great. Yeah. Uh, I I think I liked it more than most people. Yeah. Because I have, for some reason, a soft spot for, um, you know, what's his name? Paul Rudd? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't I like think Paul he Rudd. does bad. I think it's a lot of the writing. It's just like. Yes. And then they did this weird, like, it was just weird. They were trying to make, like, a friend for the girl, but it was like, I don't want to, I mean, you probably want to see it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's just Runiform. weird. It's just, like, the, like a ghost girlfriend, but, like, they didn't really commit to it being a girlfriend because I think they're young, but they kept, like, playing with them. Have, it was very odd. And I was like, what is going on? It was very strange. Huh. And then, like. It just all resolves really quick. And then, you know, this is a tough one for me. Kumail Nanjiani is like a main central part of the movie. And I was like, oh. I'm sorry, dude. You, you like, I don't know what happened. Like, there was a point where I didn't mind him. And yeah. then it just hit this critical level where I was like, I don't like what's going on here. And it just continued. It's to- <laughs> rough. It's, it's really hard. rough. I'm happy for him, but it's... Just, sure. I don't... I haven't liked in a movie in quite some time. It's really tough because... I'm sorry, man. It's especially tough for, like, a guy like that, yeah. who's... He's only doing the one thing. Yeah, and everything. Like, he does the him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's what he does. And, like, if you... If, like, you hate late period Pacino, it's because you just don't like Pacino. Yeah. <laughs> so it's this. I mean, I don't want to at all compare uh, Kumail to Pacino, but it's like if you don't like the Kumail thing, well, he he's not gonna show you something you haven't seen before. Yeah, exactly. He's gonna be like, "Oh, it sure is weird to be here." <laughs> that is it. That's what he does. Oh, okay. You're like, all there right. sure are ghosts here. Okay, and then okay. literally the entire old cast is like, "Oh yeah, we're here now." You're yeah. like, why? <laughs> it doesn't really... They gotta help. It's crazy. And there's like... It's just... It's just bad. Pa- like, everything's bad. <laughs> the pacing, mm-hmm. the plot. Like, the ice ghost is in, like, three scenes. What? And by the time it gets to the third scene, they just resolve it. And you're like, what? <laughs> That's it? It was just so weird. I was like... And it doesn't make... Okay, can I just ruin the whole thing? Please. So, the 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 whole plot is that the, the box that they've put all the ghosts in is... It's breaking open, and they have to find a way to fix it somehow. Yeah, that happens in Ghostbusters. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, and then the, okay. the ice guy, he's, his power unleashes all of the ghosts. Uh, like Ghostbusters? <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> cool. Good. <laughs> and then they use the, they can't use the rays on him because he just freezes the rays. <laughs> so <laughs> He freezes the, the quantum... Somehow. Power the proton packs, <laughs> and so the firekeeper Kumail Nanjiani, his family, they can control fire, and they use the fire <laughs> to fight the ice man. And then the the girl like makes her, she remakes her pack with copper plating so that it it just makes no sense. <laughs> like it's just like such nonsense. It's like so bad. And then somehow he just gets sucked into the big cracked open container and it reseals on its own. And you're like, why did it reseal? <laughs> it, no it was very convenient for the story that it resealed. <laughs> I was like, oh, That's why I did it. <laughs> it just is a mess. What a, what a bad movie. Anyway. It sounds horrible. It was really bad. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it sounds really horrible. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm sorry. I think Ghostbusters just had its time and it should be over for me. <laughs> I mean, I know that they have to they have to squeeze every little bit out of every little yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. But it really the last one was not good. Yeah. And it it was kind of embarrassing like cuz they like they did like a CG Egon. 
Oh, no. It was like a ghost. What? Yeah. They brought him... What? What? Oh, goodness yeah. gracious. No. Yeah. Really Don't awful. do that. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. And this um, one, they had Slimer back for no reason. He's in oh. like two scenes, and you're like, why Remember? is he here? Yeah, that's yeah. literally. And he does the same bit where he flies through Finn, what's his face, twice. Oh, yes. And you're like, okay. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, that thing. That thing. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That thing. It's so. Um, anyway, I am excited for a couple movies. I don't know Tell if you me. saw the trailers. I could be. I can't decide if it's going to be good or bad. Long legs looks interesting to yes. me. Yes. And then I don't remember what it's called, but it's like this violent. Th- it's like the family moves to this like. It looks like a European town. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Yes. Looks great. I'm like, oh, this looks freaky. So those two, I'm excited for. Yeah, I'm very excited about those. Yeah. Cool. Um, I watched one more movie. Oh, yes. Tell me. And then we can bail. <laughs> um, I watched Problemista. Oh, yeah. I want to see that. Or... You might like don't. it. <laughs> yeah. Truly. I, I have a really low tolerance for, like, this kind of comedy. Yeah. yeah. But you might like it. <laughs> um, this is the... This is the problem with Problemista for me. <laughs> Problemista. Is that, um, like, the the main character... Starts working for um, this lady who's kind of a Karen. Like, that's yeah. her thing, is that she's a Karen. Mm-hmm. And then, like, the kind of... The way it plays out is that, like, um, he realizes that in order to be successful, he has to do that. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh, this is this is evil. <laughs> yeah, this is like, this. <laughs> This entire concept is hard. It, it made me sad. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. But maybe, it, you Dang. know, maybe yeah. I just had a bad day. Sometimes I have a bad day. That is true. Sometimes you're not in the mood for, like, you're like, yeah, I know that that is how a lot of people get success, but uh, yeah. it's just lame. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mampy, it was such a pleasure. This was a delight. Um, if you out there, the the watching, listening public, have a movie that you want us to watch or listen to, what? Um, <laughs> please tweet at us at Food Court Cast. Give us five stars on your various things, uh, whatever you use yes. to listen to podcasts. Get in there. Write us a review. <laughs> Tell your friends. Hey, did you hear about this? And and don't forget to say, I sure would love to hear you. Guys talk about cuckoo. That yeah. movie looks crazy. crazy. <laughs> um, on behalf of Mampy Hikes, I am Sean Parrott saying to you, Bon Appetit. <laughs> <laughs>